Hey guys, what crazy times. I know we are all just doing our best uh, for our families and for ourselves to try to get through these challenges, but when you have a diabetic in the household, we need to think a little bit differently. And boy, has this thrown us for a loop. We are so used to our routines and repetition and standards and what meals we eat and when we go to the gym and all those sort of things we try to keep consistent and boy, has this thrown us for a loop. So I wanted to just talk to you about three key um, ways that we can try to continue to manage our diabetes um, in a responsible way and hopefully get through this time. So first and foremost, exercise. If your gym is closed, you probably went through what Rhodes did, which is, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? But we are finding time each and every day to get outside and exercise, whether it's two 15-minute power walks, whether it's going out for an hour-long bike ride, whether it's trying to squeeze in a 20-minute run, Find time to go outside and get your physical activity each and every day. The fresh air will be so good for your mental health and building in time for exercise now is so, so very important. Two, when you're planning for meals, it's a little bit different because you're trying, I hope, not to get to the grocery store as often as you used to, maybe not frequenting restaurants. So you've got to be prepared for a little bit longer. I definitely picked up some frozen uh, bags of broccoli, bags, frozen bags of green beans, some extra chicken breasts um, or pork tenderloins that I could freeze and save for next week so that if I want to avoid going out and I can uh, make healthy, low-carb meals, I have what I need here at home frozen. Uh, third, you know that having um, a fever, especially a very high fever, can wreak havoc on your blood sugar. If you've ever been um, had that kind of an illness, it certainly does for roads. So please make sure that you talk to your doctor um, as soon as you're able to and just plan how you would handle that situation, whether you need to keep Tylenol, Advil, and you need to keep your temperature in check, um, whether you should report to the hospital immediately if you start having symptoms, um, making sure that your prescriptions have been filled and you have as much diabetes medication in your home as you can afford to have so that you're prepared for a little slightly longer period of time before you go in for a doctor's visit. So please think uh, forward, do your best. We're just muddling through this. Um, but you can continue to manage your diabetes in a healthy way. It's just going to take even more work than it did before. Good luck, guys, and, and we're thinking about you.